Hey y'all, it's really TT. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel. We're getting ready to do a wig haul. Thank you so much for the thumbs up and share outs. Let's go ahead and get into this haul. The first thing I got was a Kobe Jack Monterey cheese. And I like this cheese. I don't eat a lot of cheese or a lot of dairy. But what I can say is that my kids like it as well too. They put it on their sandwiches, they put it in their little snack packs and tacos and their spaghetti. So go ahead and get y'all some cheese. The next thing up we have is orange juice. Typically when I do allow my kids to drink juice, I get them apple juice, but we don't get orange juice that often for them. So I figure we can just switch it up a little bit this week. So we're gonna go ahead and get these oranges in them. And I got two of these orange juices. So yeah, you can also make them, you know, ice cubes too. All right, the next thing I got on the list are some yams, sweet potatoes and yams, whatever you say it. I got some yams. So yes, y'all, I remember when they used to be like 25 cents a piece. Now they're like a dollar 57 per pound. Oh my God, I don't know. And next I got some Granny Smith apples. My kids love these apples. I usually alternate by week. So this week is gonna be the Granny Smith apples. My kids love these apples, the bag. It, it, does, it doesn't last long in the house. It don't last long. These apples do not last long at all. But I try my best to make it last. <laughs> all right, next we have some potatoes. I got a five pound bag. My son loves potatoes. If anything else fails, I can always count on potatoes for him to eat. He likes when we cut them up as fries. I can bake them, I can saute them, I can put them in the air fryer, so yeah. Next we up, we got some grapes for the kids. They love grapes. I can barely, barely, barely keep these in the refrigerator. My kids love grapes as well too. And I got my daughter some strawberries. She loves strawberries, like for real. My kids love fruit and I'm so happy about that. I'm trying to incorporate more vegetables in their diet, but you know how that goes. Next up we have blueberries. Blueberries and you can put these in your oatmeal and a granola mix with some yogurt or eat them plain, put them in the freezer. Next up we have some malto meal. This was a childhood favorite. Now, I can say I love chocolate malto meal as well too, but they don't have it. And of course that's not on a wig list for chocolate malto meal, but malto meal it is. And we got some avocados. Yes, I got two ripe ones and two of the other ones that are not pretty much ripe just yet. So we will be using these avocados for some tacos, put some rice or on a bagel. And then I got a cucumber. I love to put these cucumbers with some ranch or I like to uh, marinate it with some, what is it called? That Italian dressing. So yeah comes out really good all right we're gonna go ahead and wash this produce i feel it's very important to wash your produce it's sitting out there collecting all that dirt dust people touching on it i use some distilled vinegar white vinegar at that and i let it soak for about 20 minutes or so and i just like to make sure that the produce is clean and you know uh, to me it's important everybody has their own opinion about that but I like that so go ahead and get these apples up in here and just make sure I wash all of them and oh we got a bad apple y'all let me go ahead and well you know my kids usually eat fruit as soon as they are done a couple of apples are beat up as y'all can see but my kids will definitely eat you know the produce so you know how that goes so then I had to end up getting another container because I had ran out of space and we're going to go ahead and soak the blueberries in here get them all good and you know cleaned and then we're going to add in the strawberries as well too so y'all know just clean your produce that's just my take on it so we're going to go ahead and let this soak for about 20 minutes or so and then wash it on off all right here i have them washed off as you can see i'm draining them as well so we're gonna go ahead and get this going to a flat surface so they can drain with a paper towel. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer before I put them in the containers. 
I have no idea why my recording ended up changing and it's so annoying because I'm using the same device. I don't know what's going on, but bear with me y'all. Y'all get the gist of what I'm doing here. Let's go ahead and continue this video y'all. Thank you so much for supporting me. We are up here washing our produce, getting it nice and clean. For anyone that is a WIC recipient, please take advantage of your benefits they have some good stuff on here i can tell you that it helps me out a lot my children appreciate it as well too this is another avenue for my children to have healthy snacks healthy meals i really appreciate it if you don't know if you're a WIC recipient make sure you check with your local county area to see if you're eligible to partake in this now what i can tell you is that there is a cap on being a recipient of WIC. I believe in most areas it's under the age of five years old. And yeah, I can see my child has taken a lot of the fruit already. And here he comes, y'all. He's about to come back. I was sitting there waiting for the rest to drain off and dry off before I transfer them. And here he comes. Look at that. Mm, only has he. <laughs> he loves his produce. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for supporting me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I will definitely see you soon. This is Lee TT. I'm out. Bye, y'all.